Here we are at the Denver Arena in Denver, Colorado. The Denver Cutthroat set to take on the Copenhagen Cult here in today's second of three matchups here on the SPL Network. After I went live, this game was brought up to me. Hey, we got a 930 game for you if you want to slot that one into your schedule. I said, sure, why not? We might not have all the bells and whistles for this one, but we're still going to get to watch some good slap shot here in the Challenger Division. Denver, Copenhagen, long time history. Let's get right into who's going to be on the ice for this one. Dad Boy, what up? Wade and K-Man set to be the starting roster here for the Denver Cutthroats here tonight. Maybe if it's not Wade, it's probably Smeggy. That's where my money is at. If I was a betting man, that's who I'd bet on starting here tonight. Of course, for the Copenhagen Cult, next is Sanguini and Chris LOL should be the starting three. We'll see if they are. Of course, all five of the players on the Copenhagen Cult are capable in their own right, or else they would not be in second place in Challenger currently. Um, of course, that boy went up for the Denver Cutthroats leading goal scorer here tonight. 24 goals on his 41 shots during his eight games played. Um, K-Man's right behind him with 11 goals. Smeggy with six, Groovy with three, and Wade only played two games this season, so I don't think he'll be on the ice here tonight. But uh, for the defensive side of the ice, I think it's going to be the battle of the Chris's. Smeggy also goes by Chris here and there. Right now, Smeggy, 40 saves for the Copenhagen Cult. Chris, LOL, on the other side of the ice, has 46 saves on his account. So, you know, it's a six-save difference in the grand scheme of Season 8. We'll see which of these players will uh, be able to stick it out for their respective teams. Of course, for the goal scoring department on the Copenhagen side, Nexus has 36 Sanguini, or Sanguin, San, Sanguini. I wanna say Sanguini, that feels better to say. I'm just gonna say that. I don't care if it's wrong. 16 goals for him, Cherries with eight, Chris with seven, and Demos with two games played and one goal in his department. Taking a look at the hot streaks. Who's on a hot streak? Who's on a cold streak? Copenhagen caught coming off a two game winning streak. Make, looking to make it three here tonight. First was against the Florida Freeze, a 9-7 victory there. Um, if you're not familiar with the league right now, the Florida Freeze are fourth place. They also played the sixth place Ireland Pepe Tactics, with hat, which put them into a losing record here this season. They've won 44% of their games and uh, Still looking for uh, their week four matchups to uh, get on the board. Copenhagen called finding a 7-8 victory over them. Of course, Denver finding a few losses, a few humbling moments. In a game like this, you have to be humbled first to be the humbler. And so the Detroit Demons 6-8 over the Denver Cutthroats. Of course, Trappers. Uh, Trappers right now the first place seed in the uh, the Challenger division. They find themselves at a 9-1 record going into tonight. And uh, the Denver Cutthroats would have been expected to lose by a lot, but they only lost by a little 6-4 the final score of that matchup. And and uh, Denver right now outside the relegation spot. There's eighth place out of the nine remaining teams in the Challenger Division. Tetsu's team, the, uh, the Mystic Spirits, disbanding during week number three. So we're only down to nine teams in the Challenger Division. That 10th place spot will give whoever wins the Intermediate Cup a spot in the Challenger Division going into uh, Season 9. Of course, New Jersey Bullets there at the bottom of your screen will have to play a best of three against the, uh, the second place team in the Intermediate Playoffs. And uh, if these divisions, like the Challenger, the Pro, that those confuse you, here's what the main structure of SPL looks like. Um, that's not it. Don't worry about that. Don't think about that too much. Don't even sweat it. Pro division, top of the top. The best of the best has 10 teams. Challenger with 10 underneath them. Underneath Challenger, we have IM. And then throughout those top three divisions, everybody in the regular season will play everybody twice for 18 games played. Of course, Challenger's down to nine teams, so it's 16 games in the regular season. Um, top four of Open, IM, and Challenger will be put into a four-team playoff. First seed versus the fourth in a best of three. On the other side of the coin, it's the second and third seed playing a best of three. Winner of those series goes into a championship series. If you win the championship, you go up a division. If you get, if you lose the championship, you'll have a chance to play at the second worst team in the division above you at the beginning of next season. Of course, pro division, a little bit different. Top six make playoffs. And uh, yeah, first two seeds get a bye in that department. Fourth or Third place plays sixth place, and then four and five play each other. Winner of four and five will play first place. Winner of three and six will play second, and then championship game. Hoorah! But yeah, that's that's the main that's the main uh, that's the main gist of it. If you uh, if you catch my driftwood, but both these teams tonight gonna be looking to uh, looking to take some skin off the other side. But uh, we have six in the lobby. We got six ready to rock, six ready to roll, and so we'll get this one down on the ice before before they decide the otherwise. Denver on the right side, Copenhagen on the left. The puck is dropped, the game is on, and time is underway here in the first. Denver cutthroat, it's gonna be looking to come out of the gate hot and heavy. Cherry's trying to get that one through the wickets, it's not able to find any luck to be on his side. Man, 
that's that's a rough pill to swallow here. Cherry's with it once more off that hip, trying to pull this one out and away. Um, after the last loss that the Denver or the Copenhagen caught had, um, they looked to uh, they they really they really got into that locker room. Not a, not a friendly locker room to be in, but they they said what they need to say. Everybody made their points, and uh, they're trying to find themselves a solid core to play with. And uh, we'll see if we'll see if the solid three core will stay on the ice for the majority of the game, or if they're still going to play their line changes and get everybody even ice time. You either want to vibe or you want to win. Those are the two types of teams in SPL. We'll see which of these teams are uh, kind of lean to one side versus the other. Cherries of the Knights back pass over to his captain. Here's Nexus off the far side. Find Sanguine. Sanguini off the back end. Stopped by Smeggy right at the red line. Gonna dump that one back down for the Denver Cutthroats. Nexus here battling with the stick. Goes off. Came into the near side. Cherries trying to pull this one away from the wall. Cherries playing a long time in the slap shot Premier League. All the way back into the slap one days. If you can believe that with the Pennsylvania ball. Peen hammers. Good shot. The first one of the night. Nice save there by Smeggy back between the pipes. Going to dump that one down the near side, finds Kamen. That boy shoots, scores! And what a shot that was. one nothing on the board. The Denver Cutthroats making their mark early here in the first period of action. One shot, one goal. And they got good things to talk about. Sanguini looking down to the near side. Of course, Copenhagen Cult not having their defensive player of week two and three on the ice. I mean, it might have been week one as well. But Chris LOL leading the defensive charge in all of the challenger division. Just uh, going to be sitting this first period out. We'll see, it. we'll see how that affects the uh, the vibe, the jive. Some call the uh, the cut of the jib. Here's Nexus off that far side, getting the step in the opposition off that back end. Sanguini off the back end, shooting. Nice save by Smeggy. Challenging the shooter, cutting down the angle, making the net look small on that one. Here's Nexus, jiving, going off Smeggy, back into the defensive zone for the Colt. Nexus keeping this one low. What of that save in the process? Loses that one to the top side of the wall. Here's that boy off that forehand. Shimmies that one towards the cage, but not on. Here's Nexus with it now for the boys in the blue. Off that backhand. That boy collapses on it. Sanguini off towards the cage, just out of the reach of his captain. Off that near side. Good stick check gets to the puck first. Here's Nexus off towards that top side of the ice. Forehand pass out to the neutral zone. Here's Sanguini near side, just out of the reach of Cherry. Sumps this one down and in. Here's Smeggy there, dumping that one down into the Colts zone. Sanguini, the first man back to find that one. Nexus shooting off that near side and just goes wide. Smeggy, Nexus challenge each other on the near side wall and along that corner of the Denver uh, the Denver end. 2.18 to work with here in the first period of action. Cherries breaks free, goes off Datboy, goes out to the neutral zone. Shooting, nice stop there by Datboy at the near side post. Finding his way off into the neutral zone. Shoved down to the offensive end. Denver here on the back pedal. Sanguini, Cherries find his way for the Colt. Trying to get this one down into the offensive zone. Not finding a whole lot of ease there. Dad boy with a chance. Shooting scores! And they have themselves a two-goal lead. It's not always the hardest shot, the prettiest play that finds you a goal. It's just whatever you can put into the back of the net. And Denver leads it. 2 nothing. Here with two minutes remaining here in the first period. Cherries taking his volition top side, looking to leak that one down along the far side wall. Dad boy shut down early. Cherries find his way back over to Nexus. Here's Nexus with it now top side. Sanguini down to the near side across the crease and out into the near side corner of the Denver territory. Dad boy shoving that one near side. Nexus gets this one back down low. Dad boy trying to get this one out through the neutral zone. Sanguini there with an early deflection, keeping that one wide of the cage. Here's a handle by Cherries. Cherries shooting off the near side and just wide. Nexus looking to keep this one down low. Datboy doesn't have a lot of options. We'll find this way up and over the stick of Sanguini on that back end. Smeggy going off Cherries. Cherries with nowhere to go. Came in, leaving him nowhere to run. Good back check there by Nexus. Finds his way down the near side. Datboy challenging him back into his own defensive end. Came in the first man to this one. Finding his way into the top side corner slowly. Looking for the crease. 55 to go here in the first period. Denver still leads it 2 nothing. The Colt just haven't been able to gain any traction here in the first period. And uh, whatever reason is for that, I'm going to leave that up to your own devices to determine that one. Um, it could be a plethora of things. Good stop there by Cherries. Pops that one back out. Smeggy goes off Nexus. Nexus through the neutral zone. Nice stop there by Dadboy to send it in your side. Nexus here trying to pull this one off that forehand back to Sanguini. Sanguini looking towards the top side. And there it goes. Oh, wow. Look at them apples, man. Hmm. Yes, here's Cherries now. Throws that one back to the defensive side. Playing a little hot potato on the far side wall. That boy trying to get a hand to loosen it up. Cherries off the back end. Sanguini shoots scars. Oh, what a play. Little give, little go. My goodness. 
That, that was that was mwah, chef kiss. Mwah. Great slap shot. Woo! Look at that. Man, that spaceship shuttle status. Ten seconds to go. Denver cutthroats. Copenhagen caught one goal apart here in the first period of action. Here's Cherries. Looking to just keep the score the same. Battles with the sticks. Shot goes wide. And that will do it for the first. Good tries on both sides of the ice. Denver Cutthroat's getting the better side of the goals, better side of the shots. We'll see if they can get this one in the bag here in the second. Of course, uh, Chris LOL coming onto the ice. Who will be going off? It will be Nexus. But both teams finding a little something to talk about, something good to bring out of that one. Sanguini with a great passing play with Cherries finds them their first goal. Of course, that boy finding the offensive side of the puck in his favor so far tonight. But uh, six ready to rock, six ready to roll. We're back on the ice, Copenhagen left side, Denver on the right. The puck is dropped and the second is underway. Here's Chris with it now. Tries to get this one out of the defensive end. Cherry's trying to challenge him on the far side wall. Here's Chris with it once more. Chris off the near side, sends that one across the ice over to Cherries. Cherries here in a little bit of trouble with a slow leaking pass, finding its way down towards that near side over to Chris. Chris off the forehand, out in front, just not able to get that one to go. Sanguini a little behind on the play. Here's Cherries. Top side, looking for the bank pass out of the zone. Came in, getting a piece, but not enough. Sanguini keeps this one north for the winter. Here's Smeggy with it now for Denver. Good pass out there for Denver, but Chris there reading that one all the way. Smeggy with a bank pass to himself off that near side. Good pick off there by Cherries. Cherries here for Copenhagen, looking for that top side of the ice for a little leak out pass. Leads Chris a little too hot on that one. 45 seconds into it, no shots yet. Here's a handle by Cherries. Came in there to try to loosen that one up against the crease. Came in playing every season of rebound, if I'm not mistaken. Chris collapses, shooting. Nice stop there by Smaggy. Here's Chris with another one. Goes through the crease, Sanguini scores. Oh, what a physical play. The man put lead on his tape tonight. The stick is weighing like a mountain. And uh, well, he might not have had that shot. That might have been that boy, but whether or not yeah, you see it that way. Whatever way your barn door swings, it's still three and a two. What a shot. The Copenhagen caught finding a little life here in the second. Good back pass by Sanguini. A great shot by Cherries. A hard angle shot not many can take. Five goals on the board. Three of them for Copenhagen. Smeggy. Oh, a little Plinko machine. Gotta love it. And we're back tied at threes. Denver just taking a throw at the dartboard, seeing if it sticks, and that boy finds it right on his stick once again tonight. And they have a tie game on their hands. Man. Chris looking topside. Looking to get positioned out of the zone. Not able to find his teammate down in the corner. Cherry's here looking to wheel and deal. Going off that back end. Here's Dat Boy with it down the near side wall. Cherry's there picking his pocket for all his worth. Looking to give the uh, taken from the rich. Looking to give to the poor. Cherry's here off that forehand pass out to Sanguini. Just out of his reach. Finds his way off that near side with a little pinch in off the near side wall. Smeggy Chris. Near side. Stopped by Chris. LOL. Here's Cherry's. Cherry's trying to stick check that one along the near side wall. Dat Boy trying to keep this one along the corner. Cherries looking for that pass on the far side. Keeps this one out to the point. Sanguini pulls. Looking for the shot. Not able to find that one past K-Man. Here's K-Man from the point. Not able to get that one through Cherries. Dad boy looking for the wraparound. Not able to talk, take the puck with him on that spiritual journey. Cherries near side out of the reach of Sanguini. Smeggy collapsing on that one. Top side out to Dad boy. Chris trying to get a hand on that one for Copenhagen. Not able to get that one cleanly on the net. We'll get this one down low though. Here's Sanguini trying to take charge. Dad boy says I'll take that. Goes off Cherries on the near side point. Looking to bring this one down low for the boys in blue. Here's Sanguini off that back end. Returning that one out to the center at the point. Cherries trying to get the step on Cayman. Gets it. Takes the jive. Gets through two. Shoot. Nice save there by Smeggy. Chris there to collect that one. Looking for the top side of the ice. Sends this one down to the near. Dumping this one out. Smeggy last point in contact. Finding his way over to Dat Boy. Dat Boy shooting off that far side and barely wide. Here's Cherries with it now. Cherries whips this one topside glass. Goes off Sanguini. Down to the near side wall. Smeggy going to be the first one of this one for the cutthroats in green. 2.07 to work with here in the second. Good try there by Cherries. Not able to get the pass. Solid object. And he shoots. He scores. And he makes this one four to three. They might not have the most shots in the lobby, but they have the most goals, and they're pretty all right with that. Seven goals into it. Denver leads it four to three. Here's Sanguini with it now. Looking to take his time, not wanting to force any plays that might result in a turnover. Chris here to take charge as the Copenhagen three. 
Sends this one near side. Okay. Uh, nice try there by Sanguini. Just not able to get that one on the money. Here's Cherries with it now. Off the forehand. Good shot, but that one ricochets off the far side of the cage. Sanguini backhand. Stopped by K-Man. K-Man there to throw that one back down and around town. Dat Boy looking to wheel and deal. Cherries there to say hello. Cherries there to keep possession out for the offensive team. Goes off Chris back into his own blue line. Here he is top side out against the wall. Here's Cherries with it down low. Bring this one back out to the point. Bring it back down low. Bring it around town. Here's Smeggy with it off the back end. Hits the top side wall, finds Cayman. Chris, better body position. Gonna take this one back out, reset the breakout. Doesn't want the water bottle though for whatever reason. Cherry's here with a good step. Shooting scores, and we're tied up at fours. The lull has been broken. The silence has been deterred. And a great shot beats Dat Boy off the near side. And we're back in this one. Four to four here in the second with four minutes elapsing into the second. Cherries looking to take this one out for a near side pass. Chris here to take charge off to the near side. Throws that one against the glass. Sanguini and Chris there to retain possession for Copenhagen. Smeggian came in along it for Denver. Here's Chris. Chris takes his time. Near side looking to wheel that one out. Smeggy there says no. Try again. Chris goes off K-Man. K-Man looking for the shot. Not able to take that lane. Goes off Dad Boy. Goes off Cherries. At the Smeggy. Smeggy here for Denver. Shooting top side. Goes K-Man. Shoots off the far side and wide. Oh, man, that could have been something great. Could have been something marvelous. Nice pass out to Cherries, just out of the reach of Sanguini. So take this one down to the far side corner, brought out to the slot, finds his way to Cherries. Cherries, dangle, shoots off the back end, not able to pop that one in. Here's Cherries once more with it. Came in there, collapsing on him. Ten seconds remaining here in the second. Eight goals have been scored. Nobody with the lead so far. Cherries, came in. Dat Boy challenge each other on the far side wall. Cherries shooting far side, and that hits the glass to end the second. Denver at four, Copenhagen four here at Denver Arena. The shots a little in favor of Copenhagen. Of course, they have the better set of possession time passing game. Just about every positive set on the board except goals. Denver's keeping it close. They're making the most of their chances here tonight. And it looks like they will be making a possible substitution. Um... Maybe. Looks like the starting three for Copenhagen will be Cherries, Chris, and Nexus. Six ready to rock, six ready to roll. Same three on the ice. That started the game to end the game for the Denver Cutthroats. We'll see how this one makes them feel. Five minutes remain here in regulation. We'll see who can take the lead first and see if they can hold on to it. It's basically a new game. Maybe It's basically a pub match with a little bit of history. Chris going to be the first man to take woeful possession. Top side, Cherries off the back end. Shooting, nice save there by Smeggy back between the pipes. Smeggy playing with a little bit of fire. We'll find a little bit of safety off that near side wall. Gets it out of the zone. Dat Boy almost able to chip that one in off the back end. Just not able to get the puck to go. Cherries back in. Nexus slowly taking this one top side. Cherries gets this one once more. Back down low. Back out to the point. Finds his way towards the cage, but not on. No, it, it, it could have been on. I, don't, I think it might have hit the post. Who's to say? Top side pass. Nexus pulling back in. Out in front of the cage. Came in shooting far side and wide. We're about a minute into it. A couple nets have been missed. We'll see which one can hit it first. Came in empty four by six. Just not able to get the puck to, uh, to cradle into that backhand pocket. Here's Cherries with it down the near side. Off the backhand. Pass over to Nexus. Nexus off the tip of the stick. Not able to stride with it. That boy, Cherries, Nexus, getting involved in the near side wall battle at the point. Cherries wins it away. Goes off, came in. Loosening this one up for the cutthroats. Cherries back there for Copenhagen. We'll whip this one top side out to Cherries. Cherries trying to get this one through the crease at the point shooting nice stop there by came in at the faceoff dot came in just pushing his way through for the boys in green Cherries out there to deny him access back to the neutral zone here's that boy that boy challenged by Nexus Cherries there with a good takeaway two on two we'll see what they can do with it off that back end gets past one but not able to get past came in on that back check the throw out in front Cherries keeping that crease clean Cherries near side. Nexus off the back end. Finds his way over to Chris. Here's Chris with it once more. Back out in front. Nice stick check there by Cherries. Keeps that goal from transpiring. Goes off that forehand. Stopped by K-Man. Nexus keeps this one low. Nexus off the forehand. Wants Chris to collapse down on it. A little too late for that one. Nexus off to the near side. Nobody home at the near side point. Cherries trying to get a hold of that one. Nice stop there by Nexus. Nexus feeling antsy here in this third period. He wants the goal. He wants it now. He wants to get a little bit of something, something to talk about. After this one has concluded, 
Chris off that near side. Came in. Going off the Nexus. Here's Cherries with it now towards that top side of the ice. Smeggy finds his way off Dat Boy. Dat Boy wants to get his team further out of a relegation spot. We'll see which of these teams want it more here tonight. With 2.40 to work with here in the third period of action, only one of these two teams can walk away with a win. Good pass over to Nexus. Not able to get that one through. Smeggy there hot on his heels. Nexus trying to find any refuge against this off-pressing defense. Here's Chris taking his time. Down towards that near side, looking for that pass out. There's off the stick of uh, Cayman. Nexus, Cherries, top side, not able to get that one through. Here's that boy with it once more. Takes this one top side. Here's Cherries with it off the back end. Gets past one. Cayman challenging him. Gets the stick check, loosens it up. Back out to the point. That boy has the step shooting. Scars! And that might be the final nail. But I don't see a fat lady to start singing. It's 5-4 nonetheless for the cutthroats. 206 to work with here in the third. There's still plenty of slap shot left to be played. We'll see if the Copenhagen call can get back in the saddle before the rodeo's over tonight. Long distance pass, no connection. Smeggy topside, that boy taking it off the hip, but not able to take it in stride. Next is there challenging him for the puck. There's one back down low to Chris. Chris stops. Nice save. Sends this one off the near side, trying to get his team to back check a little bit for a little help. Jerry's the saving grace. Able to keep this one off that near side and through the crease. Finding his way off to K-Man. K-Man here with it now. Finding his way off Cherries. Cherries taking this one back to the defensive side with a minute 30 to work with here in the third. That boy just challenging Cherries. Just trying to get the puck loosened up. Every time, every stick check, every back pedal they can make Cherries take is a little extra time. Oh, it finds its way through. No way. Oh, my goodness. A little puck luck going a long way here tonight. Chris going off K-Man. Smeggy gets a touch. And it, just like they drew it up on the chalkboard before the game started. That's just how it'll go. Dad boy looking for vengeance. Just not able to find it from the drop of the puck. 1.15 to go here in the third. Ten goals into it. Nobody with the lead once again. Dad boy backhand. Cooks it over to Kamen. Kamen almost an empty net. Good shot. Good goal. And he had a lot of free real estate to talk about on that one. Nobody there to pressure him. And it just left Chris back between the pipes to have to play the guessing game. Sixty seconds. Chris here with the puck down the near side. Finds Nexus out in front. Stopped by Smeggy. Smeggy keeping this one down low for Denver. Chopped out by Nexus. Over to Chris. Chris off that forehand. Finds his way off Nexus. Good try towards the crease. Just not able to get it through. Chris. Oh no! Nexus missing it off to the near side. Unlucky. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I feel that spiritually. Forty seconds to go. It's only been twenty since the last goal has been scored. Chris or Cherry shooting. Smeggy with a save going off the hip and into the far side wall. And that one sent out there by Kman. Here's Chris LOL with it with 30 seconds to go here in the third. Off the forehand. Stopped by Dat Boy. Dat Boy at the back end. Chips this one down low. Cherry says, I'll take the mail this time, buddy. Off the near side. Looking for a little backhand action over to Nexus. Nexus out in front. Smeggy not able to get that one through. Oh, Chris just collapsing on the crease. Just throwing everything. Off the post. Scores. Oh, my goodness. They make it happen. Maybe Disney is real. Oh, my goodness. Chris hits the post. Chris our cherries hits the post. Chris able to sweep that one under the rug. Pretends the coffee pot was never even broken. Don't think about that one too long, Mom. Eight seconds remaining here. Nobody with the lead. Maybe we'll have overtime. Maybe we won't. Dad boy sends it out, and we, in fact, have overtime. My goodness, what a match to behold. What a match. Next goal wins it. Loser gets one constellation point on the standings. Winner gets their allotted two. Only one shot needs to be made to get this one on, or uh, put this one into the bag. Dad Boy shooting scars, and just like that, it starts just like that. It ends. Dad Boy absolutely tearing it up on the goal column here tonight. Finds that top right corner more than I have found a reason to live. Great shots, great goals. Denver Cutthroats finding a way to make their dream a reality. 6 7, the final score on the board. And uh, they're taking home a smile that stretches ear to ear here tonight. My goodness, 14 shots for the Copenhagen call. They're able to find six on the board. Beautiful defense, might I add. Seven, or uh, yeah, seven of the team's eight saves was by Smeggy himself. And not an easy, not an easy feat to have in a game like this. But the Denver Cutthroats stay alive. They're looking to get themselves towards a playoff spot. The eighth seed took out the second seed on February the 9th at around 10 o'clock. Who would have thought? Who would have guessed it? Who would have bet this way? The underdogs finding a way to bring this one out 
Cherries, Chris, and Guini finding two goals on the board. Nexus is going to beat himself up about this one. I, I already feel it. I can tell. I, I just know he will. But sometimes you need to. Sometimes you need to. But that's going to do it for this one. Of course, that boy, five goals, seven shots. Player of the matchup. Absolutely stunning performance here tonight. And um, we'll go into the next one. We got one more game here tonight on the SPO Network coming up next. At 10, or 10 o'clock, it's the Cedar Rapids Cotton Mounds with their new core taking on last place of the Pro Division, the Hot Springs Hot Somalis. But uh, that will do it for now. My name is Darth. Thank you for tuning in to the SPL Network. We'll be right back with more Slapshot action after this.